Hello, welcome back to Lil's Vintage World. Today I have my history book reviews for you where I take a selection of history books and review them. It's as simple as that. I'll do my best to leave links for the books that I mentioned in the description bar below, but some of these are quite old, so I'm not sure if you can get your hands on all of them. You might have to check them out second hand. Anyway, let's get started. So starting off, um, I picked up Funny Girls, Cartooning for Equality by Diane Atkinson. I picked this up because number one is Diane Atkinson and she has wrote a big book on the suffragettes. Um, and two, this cover, I thought it was very suffragette -y, so I thought it'd be a lot on the suffragettes. And it's, some bits are, but some bits aren't. It's it's more about women's rights um, than anything else. And it's just cartoons and then Diane Atkinson kind of explains them. Um, I liked it. I didn't love it, but yeah, it, it, if you're interested in women's rights then, um, and you know, waves of feminism and stuff like that throughout the 20th century, then you'll probably, probably like that a bit more than I did. Um, the next one I have is Jane Seymour by David Lowe's, Henry VIII's favourite wife. Any book on Henry VIII and his six wives, I am all over, um, like a rash, to be honest. <laughs> I will read all of them. Um, this book I found interesting, shall we say. Didn't learn anything specifically from it, but I've read an awful lot on the subject. Um, half of this book was on Jane when she was alive and the other half was like the aftermath and what happened to Edward and Henry and her brothers and all that once she had passed away. Um, I thought it was all right. Um, I would have liked a bit more of the evidence thrown in because I, I mean, I have been spoiled recently. I read a book by John Ashdown Hill um, and I thought it was brilliant. And John Ashdown Hill really puts the evidence right in front of you. And he's like, this is the evidence and therefore this is what we take from it. Rather than David Lowe's doesn't necessarily do that. He's like, this is how it is and doesn't really show you the steps to get there. So although, you know, I thought it was all right, um, I would prefer more evidence to be shoved in front of me. I like evidence. Then I picked up Daisy, The Life and Loves of Countess of Warwick by Shishila Anard. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, this is a book that I picked up when I went to Warwick Castle. I loved Warwick Castle. It was absolutely fascinating. I haven't been there for years when I went. Um, I went quite a bit as a child. It's just one of those rites of passage when you live in the Midlands, I think. Um, and yeah, I was fascinated by the house and particularly the story of Daisy, you know, this fun loving woman who came to the house, redecorated it and threw lavish parties there. It sounded absolutely fascinating. Uh, so I had to pick up this little biography of her and do you know what? I liked it. It was really good. Um, it's a book that I wouldn't pick up necessarily hadn't I have gone to Work Castle would I pick this up? No I wouldn't but I'm glad I did. I liked it. I thought it was really, in I thought it was interesting to learn um, about her life because she was a fascinating woman so yeah, I, I enjoyed that and I'm, I'm glad I got it because um, it kind of uh, gives me fonder memories of Warwick Castle, although I loved it already, so yeah. And then last but not least, I have Mary First, The Daughter of Time by John Edwards. This is another one of the Penguin Monarchs series with the absolutely beautiful cover. And then if you take the cover off, the beautiful white with the stark um, gold signature um, and then her time as queen on the back. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, I read one recent, recently, which was the Elizabeth I one by Helen Caster, and I adored that one. This one, not so much. I felt this one was a little bit dry, and it did feel like the typical kind of non-fiction book where my mind can just wander off because I kind of, although I absolutely adore, obviously, the subject in the era, I just, I didn't feel like it was telling a story. I felt like felt like a bit of a textbook. Um, I still liked it, but I just didn't, I just didn't love it. I like books, non, I like my non-fiction to be almost like fiction, like the, the historian is telling the story and I just didn't feel, feel that there, but it is still an absolutely beautiful, beautiful book. Can't take that away from me, from it rather. Um, so yeah, that is it. That is my little history book views. Um, not as successful as I have previously been in my other history book reviews, but um, I'm trying to be quite versatile with the books that I'm reading um, and read books from all different sort of areas of history. So 
do my very best. Anyway, that is it for my little video. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and I shall see you soon for my next one. Bye for now.